the little shop of horrors and the cockatrices what's the little shop of horrors well there's a cockatrice but that's not a cockatrice but there's the fine of shibma or shibma whatever it's called the lord says he will open up the heavens and he will bestow a blessing upon his people but it's probably a curse to his enemy so i'll show you what a cockatrice is there's a cockatrice has three toes it's like a co big huge cockroach on two legs did you ever see that film um, where your man says you sack of puke and he sucks up the human flesh there's another one there look you see that the lord says i will open the window and the last page of the old testament and i will pour a blessing through the window there's the the one of shimmer jack and the beanstalk you see jack and the beanstalk the one of shimmer what have we got here this is a this is a, a hollywood film called the ruins movie based on a vine that so it sucks up the jew a lot of people that eats them it's a terrifying thing they go to a pyramid and when they get to the pyramid there's a vine growing on it there's a pyramid in uxbridge and there's um, a pub on the uxbridge road called the vine i wonder if the vine grew out of the pyramids in uxbridge would it go straight down the uxbridge road there it is there look the vine here growing on the pyramid it's mentioned in the Bible as the vine of Shibma. And what have we got here? Oh, it's Shibma. Shibma. The vine of Shibma. Here it says, Therefore I will bewail on the weeping of Jazer, the vine of Shibma. I will water thee with my tears, O Hesbon, and the least. And this is old English stuff. But basically, if you look at the, the old gods, look. You see the vine, the winged gods, and it says in the Bible, weep, weep, it says, for oh, Shibma, there it is. Of when a Shibma, I will weep for the uh, weeping of Jasmine, the plants are gone over to the sea, they reached even to the seas of Jazzo. The spoiler has fallen upon the summer fruits and upon the vintage. Well, it's gone over sea, so it must be a big old thing once it comes out. So, who built the, the pyramid at Giza? That joint, what was he called? Gilgamesh. Did he go up? Because in Jack and the Beanstalk, when he climbs up the vine after meeting a Viking trader on the road who gave him a bean, he climbs up and there's a flesh eating giant up there. It's interesting stuff. Now, here's the course. Well, yeah, this is what happens to the woe well, to the waterless shepherds. Yeah, that's the ones who lead the flock astray. This is what happens to you when the vine comes for you. If you worship the pyramids and the gods of the pyramids, it may may his arm be completely withered and his right eye totally withered, blind and withered. He said, "Oh, he was sure of withered up as well." That's the course God puts upon you. So you can imagine the vine coming down and crawling in your right eye, and then crawling in your left eye and your your left arm, and you can only hold onto the vine with your other arm. You couldn't fight back. That would be the course, but it would be a blessing to the righteous because the Lord would open up a window and send it down on top of the pyramid or something like that. And the suckling child should play on the ass, the on the den of the cockatrice. That's the children of the, the, the anointed, the inheritance of Jesus. And the suckling, there's loads of stuff there about cockatrices. Isaiah 11. That's a cockatrice. I'll show you a cockatrice now. There's another thing with three towers. Look, have you ever seen that film Splice? There's a cockatrice star, three tower cockatrice. Look, but they don't harm the children of it, the children of God, they only harm the evil people. Now, this is what the Lord says about cockatrice is Isaiah. And the southern child shall play in the hall of the asp, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the cockatrice. Then, right, that's one thing. Rejoice not thou the whole Palestine, because the word of him that smote thee is broken out of, for out of the serpent's root shall come forth a cockatrice, and his fruit shall be a fairy flying serpent. 
Now God sent cockatrices and monks, for behold I will theory is, for behold I will send serpents, cockatrices among you, that will not be charmed, and they shall bite you, said the Lord. Now did you ever hear that Lord song? Or they bite you when not in love. So you have to love law. If you don't love law, you get bit by a cockatrice. There's nothing you can do, the cockatrice comes to get you, and that's all that is to it, bites and tears at your flesh. They're the vessels inside the pyramids at Giza. And there's some of the stuff. They can't make them today. They're made out of some technology that we apparently don't possess today. And there's the Giza thing. Look, there's where they're situated inside the, the heathen temple. And in Jeremiah 48, 12, it says, The Lord says, To break the jar, those who go with you, Thou shalt break the flask, and in the sight of men who go with you, breaks potter's vessels and cannot be repaired, and they will bury in Tophet. And then it says in Jeremiah, this is the one in Jeremiah, that was Jeremiah 19, 10, and in Jeremiah 48, 12, but the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I'll, when I'll, they'll empty these vessels and shatter the jars who pour off, and sh shall and pour off, and they shall pour off him him off and they shall empty his vessels and break their hold on I'll read out now 48 12 therefore behold the day is coming said the Lord that I will send unto him wanderers and they shall cause him to wander and shall empty his vessels and break their bottles mob his madok I think shall be ashamed of Cheshemosh and the house of Israel as the house of Israel was ashamed of Bethel their confidence so this is like God's um, punishment now there you go there's God break I don't know what that is there's some sort of weird technology look so the Lord must have just opened up the heavens and poured out a blessing on the faithful and of course on the priests of these pyramids because there's the there's the potter's vessels broke down look what was in them did they fill them with some human blood or did they fill them with something else? What was in them? Something powering the um, Egyptian technology anyway, the evil technology. And the way the stuff, they can't make them today. Let me pause this. Now what I would like to say is I'm not trying to deceive you in any way. I've been studying stuff like this for over two decades. And if I've pointed that and out to you that you find to be wrong, or inaccurate it's not intentional it's i have a lot of stuff going around to be no and sometimes i make mistakes i'm only human i don't mean to deceive anybody if you want if you notice something that's wrong pull me on it and put me straight you know so there's helicopters and all look see them cockatrices helicopters all of these things are carved on all these tombs so the, what basically what the Lord is saying is that he will open up a window and he will pour out a blessing and the devourer will come out of the pit if he continue to do this stuff. So you have pyramids in Uxbridge where the police are. The police, it says woe to the abusers of justice. Do you know who I am? I'm O'Neill O'Callaghan Hebrew. Callaghan the Just was my ancestor. Atelstan the Just, Atelkan the Just, the Khan of Galatia. Well, to the abusers of justice, I've been abused a lot in my life. I'm not playing the victim, I'm just saying. That's my title, justice. My ancestor's title is justice. Atal Khan, Kala Khan, Kala Khan, Kali Khan, King Arthur. That's who he was, mate. Look at him going up. Now, let me quickly read it out here. Ye are cursed with the curse, for ye have robbed me. That's your man calling, saying, I'm one at the end of God's prayers, even this whole nation. Bring ye all thither to the storehouse, that ye may be meet in my house, and prove me to prove me now herewith, said the Lord. Host, for I will open up the window of heaven and pour out the blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive, and I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground, neither shall your vine cast her off on the fruits.